Good afternoon, everyone. This is the Social Security Show on CAN TV. Today's topic is convenience and safety of our online services. Our hotline number is 312-738-1060. Please call us on air and speak to us live right now with any questions that you may have relating to your Social Security topics. So my name is Joanna Baron Glazer, and I'm a Social Security Claims Specialist in the Chicagoland area at the Chicago Lawndale Social Security Office. With me today is my co-host, co Victoria Farini. Please tell our audience a little bit about yourself, Victoria. Absolutely. Um, hello, my name is Victoria Farini, and I am also a claim Specialist in the North Riverside Field Office. So, Victoria, today we're going to talk about the safety and convenience of using our online services and Social Security's website. So let's start talking about a My Social Security account. Social Security continues to evaluate and improve how we protect what's important to you. We take this responsibility seriously and we have a very robust cybersecurity program in place to help protect your personal information that you entrust to us. Adding additional security means to safeguard your personal information, but making it easy to use, which is a vital part of keeping you safe and secure. Most people who do business with us online use our My Social Security portal, where if you currently receive benefits, you can do many things, such as request a replacement Social Security card, get a benefit verification letter, Check your benefits and your payment information and your earnings record, change your address or your phone number, change your direct deposit, start up direct deposit, request a replacement Medicare card, or get a replacement 1099 or SSA 1042S for tax season purposes. If you currently don't receive benefits, you can also greatly benefit from having a My Social Security account because that would allow you to request a replacement Social Security card if you meet certain requirements. You can check the status of an application or an appeal you may have filed, as well as access a number of other... Oh, I have a caller coming in. Hello, ladies. How are you? We are well. How are you? Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. I would like to know, will there be an increase in the Social Security and in the SSI? Yes, there will be um, a 2% increase for 2018. There will be a 2% increase for 2018. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for calling in. So that was our first caller, and her question was, will there be a cost of living increase for the 2018 benefit year? And the answer was, yes, there will be um, a 2% increase for all beneficiaries, which they will see on their checks in January of 2018. So, Victoria, can you tell us a little bit about what the requirement for filing retirement benefits is? And where can you do this? Do you have to go to an office or can you do it online? You absolutely can. Um, one of the wonderful benefits about being able to file for any benefit for Social Security is there are so many options. You can choose to come into the office if you would like a face-to-face -face interview. Um, you can bring a representative with you also if that would make you feel better. You can actually schedule a phone appointment and do the interview over the phone. Um, if you're on the go, or you can also file online from the comfort of your home. Well, how about retirement planning? Is there some, some things on our Social Security website that we can use, that people can use to help us um, plan our retirement better? Yes, that's a wonderful question. So on our website, um, www.ssa.gov slash retirement, you will find everything you need to know about filing for retirement, um, your benefit adjustments, uh, cost of living increased. If you are receiving a pension or you're going to receive a pension, there is an estimator and a calculator 
online. So any and everything that you would need to know about what your benefit amount will be, uh, you can find it there. Great. Um, is there a retirement estimator that people can use to find out how much they would be eligible for every month? Yes, absolutely. You can also find that online as well. So that gives you a wonderful foresight as to how much your benefit amount will be, whether you're filing for reduced benefits or your full retirement age. How about Medicare? Are there any um, sections on the website where we can find out some information about the Medicare program and any general questions that we may have on Medicare? Yes, absolutely. So as far as Medicare is concerned, there are two websites you can go to. You can still go to uh, www.ssa.gov um, and there you will find everything that you would need to know about Medicare, the requirements for Medicare. You can also file for Medicare on our website or you can also go directly to the Medicare.gov website as well. Great. Um, what about my social, sec uh, my social security account? I heard that it's one of the most powerful tools available that secure our retirement and that with a my personal social security account we can get a social security statement that would show us an estimate of our future retirement or disability benefits and that it can also show us the amount our family would possibly receive if any if our family member, one of our family members should pass away for survivor's benefits. Um, I also understand that we can check our earnings to verify the yearly amounts that we've earned and if they're posted correctly and that we can also get estimates of any Social Security and Medicare taxes that we've paid. Yes, absolutely. You can do all of those things with a My Social Security account. It's one of the most wonderful things that we encourage everyone to sign up for. You can also get a replacement My Social Security card as well as any type of monthly benefit statement that you need to provide to any of your um, attorneys or your um, people that um, if you need to pay your rent. Um, any of the governmental facilities, um, if you need some help, extra help with paying your light bill or your gas bill and they need to see your benefit amount, anything that you would need, you can do that with a My Social Security account online. So, Victoria, I know we've mentioned a couple of times already that using your My Social Security account, you can get a replacement Social Security card online. If you need a replacement Social Security card online, you can definitely get one as long as you've established a My Social Security account on our website. Some of the things that are required in order to get a Social Security replacement card online is that you must be a United States citizen age 18 or older with a U.S. mailing address. This includes any APO, FPO, and DPO addresses. You are not requesting a name change or any other change to your card and you have a valid driver's license or a state-issued identification card. That is correct. So Social Security is something is something more than just a retirement program. Social Security is a program where people with disabilities also are able to receive benefits. It's an important safety net. What about if somebody wishes to file for disability using our internet services? Can they do that? They absolutely can. Uh, and, and again, Social Security is so absolutely wonderful about providing so many conveniences to file for any type of benefit. And so if you are looking to file for disability, again, you can go online um, and the applications for Social Security disability and also for SSI is available to you online. So again, you can file from the convenience of your home in your pajamas. You can also, again, make a phone appointment and we can call you to take those applications for you. Or again, if you feel more comfortable, as some people do, with a face-to-face -face interview, you can come into any Social Security office, uh, bring a representative with you if that makes you feel more comfortable, and we can take that application for you. That sounds great, Victoria. It is. That sounds super easy. Now, as far as establishing uh, my Social Security account, I wanted to return to some um, concerns that some people have regarding security. 
Um, Social Security is a convenient way to conduct your business with us. However, some people might be hesitant to use the internet. Some tips that we can share with you are that while you're visiting the Social Security website and any other websites you may be using, you should be using strong passwords. What do we mean by strong passwords? Um, we mean ones that have at least eight characters. They include capital letters, lowercase letters, numbers, non-letter characters. These passwords are types of passwords that make it harder for somebody to be able to hack and receive your information. Second tip is don't recycle passwords. Even though it requires some effort to think of new passwords constantly, it's safety for you when you do. If you use the same password for every site that you use and you lose your password, if somebody finds that information, they can get access to all your accounts. Many people choose to reuse, but definitely don't be one of them. Also, take advantage of an option to add extra security that Social Security offers when you create an online account on the My Social Security page. To add this feature, all you need to do is to give us some additional information that allows us to verify your identity. Um, that information may be the last eight digits of your credit card information, information from your W-2 tax form, or information from a 1040 Schedule SE self-employment tax form. In the past, we told you that Social Security would never ask you for any credit card information or other financial information, but we've changed our policy just for this one service. Now, we may ask you for the last eight digits of your Visa, MasterCard, or Discover card, or some other financial information that only you would know. Once you give us this information, we'll send you a letter in the mail that you'll receive within five to ten business days and you'll need this letter to complete the additional voluntary process to add the extra security to your My Social Security account. The security process and federal guidelines require that we take additional security measures so that we can be sure that you say who you are when you conduct business online with us. You can voluntarily upgrade to this extra security or disable it at any time. Adding the extra security doesn't change the way that you sign into your account. You still have to sign in with your username, password, and a unique security code that will provide you each time you sign in. And that unique security code may be provided to you via text message if you have a text-enabled phone, or it may be sent to you via a email. So you would have to have an established email account in order to receive that. Also, another important thing is read scam alerts. For information about different fraudulent activities that are related to Social Security, you can find information at our blog, Social Security Matters, under the newsroom section at blog.socialsecurity.gov. One way to avoid identity theft is to create your own My Social Security account if you haven't already. When you have an account, no one else can set up an account using your information. Social Security's Office of the Inspector General investigates fraud involving different Social Security matters and they publish fraud advisories at oig.ssa.gov slash newsroom slash news dash release. The Federal Trade Commission also publishes information about scams that appear in the news on an everyday basis at www.consumer.ftc.gov slash scam dash alerts. You'll want to be aware of current scams to avoid being tricked by anyone out there. Also, another important thing is to remember to review your online accounts and credit reports. Just like you review your earnings records with Social Security for accuracy at www.socialsecurity.gov slash my account, you should also review your bank and your credit card accounts for accuracy. The three different credit reporting agencies that are used in the United States allow for you to get a free, oh, excuse me, sorry, but we have a caller on the line. Yes, hello caller. What is your question? 
Oh, yes. I just would like a little clarification on what extra help is, how it works, who who, who, who's eligible or qualifies for it. I'm just not clear on it. Are you looking for you know, the extra help regarding your um, prescriptions? I guess that's what it, it is. That's what it's for, extra help. Yes, dear. So when you're applying for the extra help, you're saying that you are asking the government to assist you financially um, to purchase your medications because based on your income, you cannot afford to buy your medications on your own. So you can come into our office. Uh, again, you can schedule a phone appointment or file uh, for the extra help online. So we would take that application and then review it, and then you would get a decision within 30 days. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, caller. So just quickly, I wanted to mention, you get a free copy of your credit report, um, which is available annually from the three different credit reporting agencies, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion at www.annualcreditreport.com. And you can check it for any incorrect entries that you may have. So that's just a suggestion for something that you can do once every year in order to make sure that everything is, is correct on your record and nothing is, is being reported falsely. Protecting your identity can be daunting. Guarding your personal information requires investing some time, but it's definitely worth it now and for your future. Discouraging theft and fraud by adopting these security practices when you use the internet. So I also wanted to mention one more time um, for everyone out there, please do keep in mind that our website allows for you to do many things online. You can file your retirement applications online. You can file your disability applications, as my co-host Victoria mentioned earlier. You can file an application for the extra assess assistance with medicines. These are all things that you can do online from the convenience of your own home, from the safety of your home. If you start an application and you need to return to it at a later time, that's also something that you can do. Once the application is completed, it gets transferred to your local office where an actual representative reviews the information for accuracy and if anything is incorrect or something's, something's not quite right, we'll give you a call or we'll contact you by mail. So just one more time, I wanted to mention um, my social security is a great account to have that allows you to do many of thing many of our things online it allows you to apply for a replacement social security card online saves you a lot of time and money in the long run i also just wanted to add when we're talking about my my social security account and protecting your passwords i i know that we live in a password protected society um, but i've seen so many people come into the office because they have a slew of passwords for so many different things and because they can't remember them all, they have a tendency to put their passwords on their phone. Um, and, and I know it might be a, a great way for you to remember some things, but please, please, please don't do that. Uh, again, with identity theft just running so rampant um, and we have not seen a de decrease in that, it's only increasing, you have to do your best to protect your personal information. So please choose a password that will be easy for you to remember, not so much easy for someone else to guess, maybe a friend or a family member that may try to attack your personal information. Uh, and, and again, if you have to write it down to put it somewhere where you will remember where it is, please, please, please make sure it's somewhere where, where no one can get to it. Great suggestion, Victoria. Well, everyone, it looks like we're running out of time, and that means we won't be able to take any more calls. However, Social Security information is accessible by visiting our website at www.socialsecurity.gov. Our National 800 number is available from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., and that number is 1-800-772-1213. Thank you, Victoria, for all the information you've shared with us today. Oh, yeah, we also welcome. want to thank Niana for screening our calls, and we wanted to thank all of our wonderful viewers and callers for tuning in to this edition of Social Security Hotline on Can TV. Please don't forget to tune in again next week at the same time for another edition of Social Security Hotline. Have a wonderful evening, everyone. Thank you, and have a great evening. Till next week. Bye-bye.